Charlie. Say hi, Charlie. Charlie's watching Nemo. He's watching Nemo. I don't know, half an hour to scoot over? Yeah, so. That's how it is. That's gorgeous. Anyway, so we're in the hilly part of things, and then we're gonna get in the bushy part of things, and then we're gonna get in the wet part of things. Hilly part. Hilly part. God. Bob Saget. Take him out. He had an Italian flag on his ass. Bada bing, bada boom. <laughs> Scooter Lake, we finally arrived. Jewel's car keys. Say hi, buddy. Say hi. hi. <laughs> <laughs> that smile's contagious. Got a fish on. Oh, Jewel's got a fish on. It's okay. Here, drop, drop the rod. It's okay, reel him in. If he's still on. Is he still on? Yeah, there's something there. Booyah! That didn't take long. Pull him out of the water. Why is it so hard? You're caught in the weeds, that's why. Okay, hang on, you're just you're not going anywhere here. Oh. Okay, pull him in, pull him in, quick, quick, quick. If he's still there. No. No? Well, let's see if the. Is the hook still attached? Oh, you lost the hook, babe. Well, that's not my fault. No, oh, well. It's okay. There's more where that came from. Hey, Joel. Knock him dead, sweetie. Remember, not too hard, though, because he's not on there very good. Like a pro. All right. to get Jimmy, although I didn't get it on film. Well, we'll him in. There he is. So we got one fish at least. Better than what we had the last two days. Well, just cruise. And Charlie. Describe how you caught your fish. I caught a fish. <laughs> I was gonna play a joke, a joke on her and ring her bell. Oh, just before I was about to do that, she just shot up like a bullet. I ran over to the rod and I'm like, oh, she caught on my little game. And she's like, she's got a fish, I got a fish. Pull up the fish. Pretty dramatic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got a fish on. It's a little hard to film and pull on a fish at the same time, but I'm gonna try. Oh, there he is. Let's see if I can beach him. There we go. Woohoo! Alright. Another one. Oh, he's a good looking guy too. Hey buddy. Look at that. Hey, hey, hey. Oh. Beauty. It's about 15, 16 inches, something like that. Perfect. But you always got another one on. 
Oh yeah. He's a doozy, this guy. Nice. Pull him in, sweetheart. No, really. <laughs> See if you can beach him. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, he's a dandy, that one. Look at that. There he is. Oh, I'm in my quota. We did not. I outfished you. <laughs> High five. I outfished you. You, you actually didn't because I just caught another one there. Did you? Yeah. You didn't. <laughs> I don't believe you. I don't believe you. Good job. So I don't believe you. <laughs> oh, I guess so because those are the other two. Yeah, there's the other two over there. So we're maxed out for the day. All right, time to go home. Yes, God. What's after this? Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> right on. Good job, babe. With the help of my wife, <laughs> although to her dismay, I'm going to show you how, how I got one of these. No, different methods to doing this, so this is how I do it. Nice, okay. So then you find the hooper, and you go up. Something like that. Now in Canada, we gotta leave the heads on, so you gotta leave the head on. You can actually eat the heads too, but I'm not personally a huge fan of that. And basically, everything you don't wanna eat, comes out. Got some row there. So cut them as far up as you can. Like that. There's your... You can actually use, a, use that later on for bait if you want. For this case the birds are gonna have it. And then all this blood that's down here you go ahead and just score it with your knife all the way down and then rinse it out in the water. Heart. Okay, that's one cleaned out fish. This is one of those fish that Joel and I caught earlier. What a beauty this guy is, eh? Probably a 15 or 16 inch fish. Good size. Anyway, I'm gonna show you what I do with them. So, this part here where it widens up, take your knife. And then push it down. close to the gills as possible. There's a set of bones that run this way, a set of bones that run that way, and a set of bones that run this way. The ones that we go vertical, 
can't really do much about those, so we'll have to cut those. That's those bones right there. Run out to about here. run along the side of the bones, like that. Try not to dig into the bones or you'll dull your knife. You see how the rib bones run this way? Flat and then down. Yes. In one second, please. Okay, one second. Trying to get as much meat off as possible. And there you go. That's one fillet. And there's the exact same thing, but on the other side. along it in case you, little, if you feel anything sharp take a pair of pliers and yank it out but afterwards and this guy there you go and the fish head itself we'll cut that off and we can save that for later we discarded Basically it.